Joe Biden's historic inauguration took place safely behind barricades in a city guarded by tens of thousands of troops. And with heightened precautions preventing supporters from watching the ceremony in person, a sea of American flags took their place, filling the National Mall. Choi Min Jung reports. Joe Biden on Wednesday was safely sworn in as the 46th president of the United States in a city filled with armed troops and barricaded fences. Instead of millions of spectators taking to the streets of Washington, D.C. to celebrate the inauguration ceremony, 25,000 National Guard troops were placed to prepare against any possible threat on the big day, following the recent attack on the U.S. Capitol. Biden's inauguration ceremony also took place under a never-before-seen level of security launched by the U.S. Secret Service. Although there were some arrests, no major protests took place during the ceremony. To prevent people from attending the ceremony, major bridges, metro stations and streets in the city were closed as well. Instead of massive crowds of spectators taking the streets to watch the swearing-in ceremony, hundreds of thousands of American flags stood at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Some 191,500 flags were installed at the Long Park to represent the American people who could not attend the inauguration due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This so-called field of flags was planted by the Presidential Inauguration Committee ahead of the inauguration day. On the eve of inauguration, the flags were illuminated by 56 pillars, representing every U.S. state and territory. Although the day was celebrated by the smallest inauguration crowd in U.S. history, the public art display allowed Americans to enjoy the ceremony from the safety of their homes. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.